Namaste, beautiful. I hope you are all doing awesome on this full moon in Sagittarius. And I'm gonna wait a few minutes in case anybody wants to pop in live. I know it's a little early right now. I'm down here beachside. The waves are so powerful today. Perfect for the full moon. And I pulled some tarot cards for the full moon and I wanted to go ahead and just do a live reading. I will do a post about this later as well, but I thought, why not? And I haven't done a moon circle in uh, about a month, so I wanted to have some sort of content for the full moon this time around. So I'm not gonna talk a lot about the full moon, but we are in the full moon of Sagittarius. This is the energy of the huntress. This is the energy of going after um, what you want, what you desire, following your arrow wherever it points, uh, living to your truest expression. And we also have a partial lunar eclipse with this full moon. This has all actually already happened. It happened yesterday, but eclipses are always a time of reset. And we've been in a really strange time in the universe and it's time for a reset. It's very clear that it's time to shift and make change. And so that's the energy that this full moon is bringing. Normally full moons are about release and letting go, but this is more about ultimate release and letting go, really taking a new direction. Um, we've heard it time and time again that we're gonna have a new normal or nothing will ever be the same as it was before. And that's certainly the energy that we're in right now, astrologically as well. So with that being said, if you wanna know more about the full moon in Sagittarius, I did just a little bit of write up about the energy going on with that right now. Otherwise, I'm gonna talk about the Tarot. So I always kind of pull cards for past, present, and future. That's kind of how I um, like to view the Tarot. So for the past, I pulled the Hanged Man. So here's the Hanged Man, and it's represented by the number 12. So, oh, I'm sorry, it's represented by the number, forget it, sorry. <laughs> This is what's wrong with lives. Um, it's represented by the planet Neptune. Um, but you also see the hanged man here and he's upside down and you would think that this would be uh, a card that would be like a negative uh, message, but it's actually a positive message. It means that in the past, we've first off been hanging around. We've been kind of waiting on something to happen and that's certainly been the case as we've been um, sheltering in place and we've had all this social distancing and a lot of businesses shut down, including my own. Um, and there was a lot of uncertainty and still kind of is about where things are gonna go from here. So for the past, we've really been waiting around. Now this hanged man is upside down. He's hanging from this tree and this represents a shift in perspective. So as a yoga teacher, I always talk about inversions when we do headstands and handstands and even get our legs up. We're shifting our energy. We're flipping everything upside down and it gives us a new perspective. This is the same thing uh, that the hanged man represents. It represents a shifting of perspective. And we have certainly, you know, taken this time, this sacred pause that we've been in, this sacred time of waiting with uh, this virus and all of this uncertainty. And it's given us a new perspective, a new perspective on life, a new perspective on our values, maybe a new perspective on your business or your professional life. So there's a lot of um, shifting that's happening from the past. So the hanged man. Now, the card I pulled for the present moment was the Eight of Pentacles, and you can see it there represented by the number eight. And by the way, the Hanged Man is represented by the number 12, 12 being, um, you know, one full year. And, you know, this is certainly a huge year of shifting perspective and change. So there's the number on the Hanged Man. Now, we have the number um, eight with the Eight of Pentacles, of course, and Eight is the sign of infinity. So in the present moment right now, you know, we're in a place of infinite possibilities. You know, anything can change from here because we have this ultimate opportunity to do something different if we choose to with really, out, without any explanation. We don't have to um, explain our shifts and explain our changes because of COVID. We have this beautiful excuse to you know, embrace the infinite potential of who we are and where we wanna go and really start to pursue that. Pentacles always represent abundance, like support, financial wealth, 
And the Eight of Pentacles uh, represents financial support around your passions. So if you are going after certain dreams, you will likely be financially supported or your um, gifts and your service will be very valued right now. This is the perfect time to go after what you love and the Eight of Pentacles is pushing us to do that right now. So to relate this with the full moon energy, full moons are a time of release, it's really time to release all all that's standing in your way of pursuing what you love, all that's standing in your way of having a joyful, passionate life, it's time to cut those ties and cut those boundaries and release those things that are holding you down and pulling you back from your fullest potential, your infinite potential of joy. Eight of Pentacles. Now, for the future, this is a card that's been coming up a lot lately in readings. I pulled the tower, and this is represented by the number 16. And it's also represented by the number, or sorry, by the planet Jupiter, okay? So we had the Neptune, planet Neptune with the hangman, and Neptune is the planet of illusion. We've certainly been going through a time of illusion and uncertainty in the past, but in the future, we're moving into the planet of Jupiter, and Jupiter is a planet of expansion, the tower you can see here the two uh, are falling down from the tower it's been struck by lightning and this really represents <clears throat> excuse me i'm gonna grab a drink of tea here this really represents an act of god and so sometimes it takes an act of god or sometimes it takes just kind of divine intervention for us to wake up and for us to make a change and so right now as we move into the future or we're in this present moment moving into the future there's certainly a wake-up call that's going on right now right this black lives matter movement that's going on right now and how we're fighting against racial injustice um that is kind of an act of god you know sometimes acts of god represent death and life and rebirth and we've certainly been dealing with some death recently um with this issue so these are huge wake up calls uh, from God, goddess, universe, to make us shift. And as you see, the tower's been struck by lightning, it's on fire, it's crumbling. It will be able to be rebuilt, but it will never be the same as it was before. So as we move into the future, old constructs are crumbling, old ideals are crumbling, old systems are crumbling, the powers to be are not going to be the powers to be in the future ultimately we're shifting from a patriarchy to a matriarchy this is something i was talking about in the women's moon circle i was um, in last night with other women but we're making huge shifts and again we've said things are never going to be the same from here and i truly believe that and i truly believe that this jupiter that this card represents really pushes us to expand ourselves and to grow beyond our ego and to grow into our heart space and into you know this beautiful spiritual being that we all are and living up to that fullest potential so we need to take that guidance to expand and grow and um you know, I love the message that's going on right now about everybody educating themselves about what's going on and everybody's providing resources and information and support and community. And that's how we grow. We grow by supporting one another and by helping each other out and understanding that sometimes horrible things happen. Sometimes acts of God happen, but they can be huge catalysts for change. And we have to embrace that. And we embrace that potential for change everything is positive moving forward um, hi hi everybody that's on I'll get to these comments in just a second um, so yeah so that was our card for the future so I'm gonna go uh, through this really quick again uh, for those that are asking if I do readings I do personal tarot readings I'll talk about that in just a minute this is for the full moon so our past card was the hanged man represented by the number 12. This year that we're in is a total year where we're shifting our perspective. We've been turned upside down. We've been waiting, hanging in the sacred pause, trying to figure out where we go from here. And then in the present moment, the eight of pentacles representing this abundance that's available if we just start to pursue what we love. There's so much value in our gifts and what we have inside of us. Um, 
we will be financially supported. We will be energetically supported if we just start to pursue what we love. And now, now is the time to seize it. Now is the time to make the change because now we owe nobody an excuse. Everybody is okay with everybody making change. For the future, we have the tower represented by the number 16 and the planet Jupiter, the planet of expansion. Sometimes we have these acts of God. Sometimes we have these things happen that seem very, um, very sad or very awakening, but they move us forward in a positive direction. They make us shift our life into a better vibration. Hmm. So I hope this reading serves you for this full moon in Sagittarius. For those that are asking about my uh, tarot readings, yes, I do personal tarot readings. They are $33. Um, if you are interested in me doing a tarot reading from you, you can send me a private message here on Facebook through this Bina Lene page. Uh, let me know what you're seeking, what you're asking, or if you just want a generic reading. So I'll do a generic reading or I will ask the universe a particular question or ask for guidance around a certain issue if that's what you're looking for. I'll pull three cards, I'll do the interpretation and I'll send it back to you within 48 hours. Um, so if you're interested in doing that, send me a message, send me um, your reading request and send me an email address for me to send you an invoice. And then once you pay, your reading will arrive within 48 hours. So there there you go. Uh, I do free readings as well, but I do free readings for the moon and uh, for astrological events. Uh, otherwise, uh, I do personal readings uh, for $33. Okay, everyone, I hope you have a beautiful day. So I have to show you these waves. They are crazy. I'm going to flip the camera. So there's Cristobal is um, obviously pretty close. I'm close to the Gulf here. I'm here in Florida. And these waves are just huge today. Well, now I say that and it's hard to tell from the camera, but they are big ones. So there's a huge shift happening with this full moon lunar eclipse and you can clearly see it in the ocean. Yeah, Sarah, I bet you do love the clouds. Girl, the weather is crazy here. You would love it. <laughs> All right, everyone. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. I hope this reading serves you. I will type it up and put it um, as a post as well because sometimes what I say and what I write is a little bit different. So I'll put that interpretation out here pretty soon. But for now, I'm gonna go have breakfast with my family. So sending you blessings. Take time to rest during this eclipse and this full moon energy. It's pretty intense right now during retrograde season. Really take time to release what no longer serves you and trust that you're supported by the universe to pursue your heart and pursue your passions and pursue what you love. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. So I will talk to you all soon. Namaste.